Hi, Jason. Hi, Sierra. So best boss ever award goes to you. Got me this book. Um, there's a specific part in it that talks about the fox and the hummingbird. And I know that this particularly resonated with you. So I was wondering if you could tell me a little bit more about it. Sure. So the, the book is uh, Dan Rome, blah, blah, blah. And it's really about visual thinking. And we are at Flow, the, you know, core proponents of visual thinking. When you think about how our education system has worked, it's really focused on English, on language, right? We get 12 years of, 12 or 13 years of language classes. And how many years of art do we get? You know, pretty much by the time you're done with, you know, second grade, your art is history. And maybe, you know, you have to sign up for an elective to get a little bit of art. But art gives you a very different way at seeing the world. And this phrase, building mental models of the world, right? That's what we're about, helping an audience understand its complexity and be able to make decisions based on, on that new understanding. So the analogy in the book is about the fox and the hummingbird. So the fox is like our language training. A fox goes to the forest with intention going from tree to tree. It's cunning. It's thinking about this sequence, thinking through the world by analyzing it step by step in sequence. And that's great. I mean, that is, in a way, that's the essence of storytelling, right? That's language. But the hummingbird, it's going to build a view of this forest in a totally different way. It's going to just glance and it's going to see everything it needs to see. And then it will go ahead and start to zoom in on each flower it cares about, right? And that, but that initial view, that is whole holistic visual thinking that in my opinion has you know, really gotten lost in our education systems and in the way we communicate and do business. So how does this fox and hummingbird relate to flow? It's hard to just talk about it. So let me show you. This is one of our parts of our product called the Story Creator. And if you've been around Flow a little bit, you will have seen this um, life expectancy flow, which is just a really great story. So let me use this as an example. So you know, say I want to start out with this big picture, just this, gee, there's this really interesting thing going on. Look at all these dots and they, they're arranged in some sort of shape. It's kind of flat and it goes up. Well. That is that first hummingbird glance. Just get that big picture. But pretty quick, maybe you want to go ahead and start to drill in to, you know, start to think about it also like a fox. You want, because you do want both. So the first thing I might do here is actually just focus on the first hundred years, right? So I've flattened out the view and I'm just focused on the first hundred years. And you can see that life was pretty flat. Life expectancy was kind of stuck here around 34, 35 for a lot of the, a lot of the world. A couple of countries start to take off a little bit earlier, you know, Denmark and Sweden, but that's your basic structure. And then you can view the second half. Well, I'm actually, let's go ahead and call that a step. And now let's take a look at the second half of that. Maybe the second half we can talk about, look, it's just taken off throughout all the countries of the world. Maybe even bring out the bring out the depth axis so we can see just the second half of our 200 year cycle here. Maybe I'll just call that a step and go ahead and show the whole, the whole thing again. But now we've got this sense of the big picture in a way it's life's humanity, it's humanity's greatest success, right? This increase in life expectancy. But then we also want to explore all the stories within it. So we can go in here and maybe highlight the Rwandan genocide. In fact, I can even show just the country of Rwanda through time. And we can see that what happened in 1994 with the Rwandan genocide, the huge drop in life expectancy. Maybe we'll call that a step, okay? And then go back and show all the countries and reset the time and maybe take a look at another view. Oh, here's an interesting one. Let's take a look at this huge chasm that went across all the countries of the world back here in 1918, and that was the Spanish flu.
pretty interesting, right? The way it affects every country. So what have we done here? We've just created a series of steps, right? That show both the big picture and stories within it, right? That's the marrying of the fox and the hummingbird. It's a visual marriage. I could just, I could say, hey, I mean, this is, this is the story I want to tell. I actually just created a flow. Start with the big picture. Go ahead and focus in on that first hundred years. Now we're going to focus in on the second hundred years and ripple it out across all the countries. Then we can zoom in and start to look at some of humanity's greatest failures like Rwanda and the next step, which was the Spanish flu and come back out to get the big picture again and to take a look at that, you know, be able to have more of that conversation and explore more with our audience. If we can figure out a way, right, to build a, a tool, a set of ideas and encode those ideas in the software, these ideas about how visual thinking works, right? How you can see the big picture and the details, how you can end up walking away with a really meaningful mental model, in this case of life expectancy. That's the way we can solve some of humanity's greatest problems. And we do have a few, which we better get on, whether it's at you know, a government level like the UN or down at you know, a big enterprise or a small enterprise, or maybe it's just you wanting to figure out how to better communicate to your PTA in a, you know, help, help your local audience understand some aspect of budgets better, something like that. If we can help your audience walk away with these clean mental models, that is a mission and that's how we're trying to change the world. And we hope that you'll take it and try to change the world too. Awesome, thanks, Jason. Thanks, Sierra, that was fun. <laughs>